think it's time to start. Is this Biology 100? Yes. I'm your professor. For how many of you is this your first, your very first time in a genuine college classroom? Anybody? Yeah, I mean, today even. Like, how many of you are here at BYU for the first time today in class? How many of you are in Utah for the first time, more or less, who come from Southern California? It's going to get cold, okay? Are you ready for that? It's going to get cold here. When it gets really, really cold for the first time, come and I'll take you out to a flagpole and I'll show you how to lick it. <laughs> One of the big goals for this class is to rebuild, in essence, your sense of wonder that you lost in part somewhere between 7th and 11th grade, where it became uncool to look at the ants on the sidewalk or to look at the clouds and say, those are beautiful. How many of you have walked with a two-year-old lately? Take the time to do it. They have that sense of wonder. They are amazed at things. Apples, apples, apples on the ground. Brown apples, mm, brown apples don't taste good. Okay, uh, run around. Uh, I will instill in you an appreciation for the living world. The world is amazing. Some of you have lost a sense of wonder for the interesting things in the natural world. Sometimes this is for rational reasons, like you got to eat or something. But more often it's because you have become too channelized into rationality. You're just too practical. I want to see some impractical idealism. I still have an intact sense of wonder. I had to rebuild it after having it battered out of me. Some of you are considering what you're going to do for your life's work. Figure out what's cool and then become passionate about it. Look at the world and be amazed. It's not uncool to be amazed at things. Come out of the doldrums. I hope that these ideas will help us all make the world a better place. Let's be better stewards of what we have around us.